What's good people, it's your boy Animal. Thank you for joining me today. Welcome to the Tutorial Tuesday series. I hope you're well from wherever you're watching. If it's your first time watching my channel, please consider subscribing. And if this video helps you out in any way, please hit that like button. So today I'm gonna to be going through how to route your VSTs to MIDI outs, how to route their MIDI outs to the mixer, and also how to route VSTs to another, for example, scalar to another instrument. Let's get started. So we're in FL Studio right now, and we've got the channel rack, playlist, and the mixer. Now, first thing we want to load is Scalar or Cthulhu. And if you click this cog on the top left corner, that will enable some more options here. We select the middle one, which is the wrapper settings, and then make sure you're on the settings tab here. We go to output port. I've set mine to zero, but yours will be blank. If you move it to the output port zero, you can select any number whatsoever, but always go from zero because it's the first one. I then turn my instrument off. In Cthulhu and Scalar, it has a built-in sound generator. So if you're triggering it to use on a different instrument, you don't want both instruments playing at the same time. So I just set that to off. You just click that and set off. And that's it for Scalar. We then move on to the next instrument we're going to plug into. So my instrument of choice today is Philharmonic. Go to the wrapper settings and select my input port to zero. So on the other one, we're going from out of that instrument and into this one. So anything we trigger from the output will be played through the input port. And that needs to be on the same port. So obviously when you're selecting any port, just make sure they're matching. And that's it to connect the two instruments together. So if I play full harmonic, you'll be able to see that I'm pressing the keys there. And then if I move on to scalar, you can see it's triggering full harmonic as well. And that's how you route scalar or Cthulhu to another instrument. So now let's move on to how to route to MIDI out. So I've got my VST loaded here. And this is orchestral, which has 16 different instruments you can load. This will apply for Omnisphere or any multi-out VST. So we go to the wrapper settings again. And on this occasion, we go into input port. So you won't change the output port. You'll change the input port. I've set it to one because we've used zero on the other VST and I've got my instrument here. You load a MIDI out and you set the port number here. So I've got my port number set to one. So if I play the instrument is coming through there. If I've removed the port, just show you there, nothing will trigger because it's not sending any information. So if we move this back to one, that's playing you can see it coming through there and you should be able to also see it in the mixer here as well and it's as simple as that if we want to add more different instruments we just add a new MIDI out and make sure the port is the correct number and then you can just change the channel so on here if we want to add let's say the French horn section you can change those instruments by the way but I'm just going with the preset so we go to five and now it's playing playing those so now let's look at how to route the midi outs to the mixer so we go on to the wrapper settings hit the processing tab and you'll be presented with this window here now these are your 16 different instrument outputs and if you leave it on the blank one here that means the first channel will always go to whatever channel the VST is set to. So in this case, it's 82. I want to set this to one, which means it will go one to the right of 82. And similarly, if we go minus one, it will be one to the left of that mixer track. So be wary if you've got other instruments loaded in your mixer, not to conflict with the other ones. So I'm gonna set this to one and this to two. If you selected auto map, it will do all of them for you. So it'll keep the main one on the first one and so forth. But I just want to do one and two for now because I may have other things in the mixer. And you can obviously move those along after. 
So now we've set one and two there. I've selected an instrument on one and selected an instrument on two. And I've now got my MIDI out here, which is set to port zero. And that's what we set earlier as the input port. And on the strings, I've set it to channel two again on the input port there. So if I click on the MIDI output, it's playing the piano. And you should also see that in the mixer, the piano is triggering as well. And then if I move on to the strings, And the benefit of this is if you want to apply different effects, set different volumes, you've got the freedom to do so. Also, it saves on CPU usage. It stops you from loading multiple instances of the plugin when you don't need to. And that's all for today. Thank you for watching. Take care. Bye bye.